All right, so here we are again, and today we are looking at how to create lists in our HTML websites. Okay, so again, I've got all my coding, and I'm just going to space this a little bit. Let's just move that a little bit. This is just to give some order. We see we've got our head, we've got our title, we've got our body, paragraph over there, and we've got a whole lot of information. Okay, so not doing anything major to it everything is still in place so we want to basically turn all of this into a list now you get two types of lists you get your unordered list and your ordered list but we're going to look at both of them and i'm going to start with the unordered list if we want to put all of this into a list we start by opening our ul tag which is our unordered list i'm going to go right to the end and i'm going to close my tag over there so that all of this over here, all of these items here, they fall into my unordered list. Now, if I go file save and I refresh, you can see it just moves it over a little bit, but it doesn't really do much to it. Okay. Because now I've got to um, actually put coding in for each and every one of these. So what I'm going to do, each one I'll just start at the beginning. And I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to put... Uh, open my coding that goes bracket li bracket close it at the end here bracket forward slash li bracket and now when i go file save and i refresh that you see what happens okay obviously i don't want to include that semicolon so i'll you know probably take that out so i've got to do the same for each one of them just going to copy this for each one. So LI indicates list item. So this is why we've got to do this for each and every one of them, because each one is an item in our list. Okay, and then we've got to close it as well. So I'm just doing this so that it's a bit faster. Just going to copy and paste these items. So you can see for each item, I've got to close uh, my list item tag. If I don't do that, you know, it's going to create a bit of a problem. We don't want problems in our coding. Okay? So let's do that. Now you can see for, for each and every one of these, each one becomes a listed item. And I go save, refresh, and there you can see there's my entire list. Each list item is there, the coding is correct, and it's all under my unordered list or my UL tag. Now if I use, if I change this to OL, okay, for an ordered list, let me show you the difference actually occurs I've got file save as or sorry save refresh you can see it got numbers it from one to ten have i changed anything here no because this is it still remains as listed items so that doesn't change it just depends on whether this is going to be an ordered list or an unordered list in grade 11s that's how we um, create lists in our html websites